All right, guys, it is the day before the election, and I want to take five minutes of your time, five minutes, and talk to you about something about this election. So here's the deal. I used to post a lot politically. People know this. I posted so much political stuff on Facebook, uh, and I have really gotten back on it. I have not made any, like, worded political posts in a couple months. Um, but I think that right now I need to say something and you all need to hear something. Um, I'm not going to tell you who I'm voting for. I will tell you that I am voting, um, but I won't tell you who I'm voting for. But here's what we need to talk about. Uh, there are people out there that keep saying, we have the freedom to vote, so you need to vote because you, we have the freedom to vote. And here is my problem with that, honestly. Yes, we do have the freedom to vote. That is correct. That is not wrong at all. But here's the opposite thing. You have the freedom not to vote. It's like the th same thing with the right to bear arms. You have the freedom to bear arms, but you also have the freedom to not own a gun. No one is forcing you to own a gun. No one is forcing you to vote. And if you can give a legitimate reason as to why you're not voting, um, that is acceptable. This year is honestly one of those years. I've been looking at the candidates and there's part of me that doesn't want to vote. Not because I'm a lazy millennial that doesn't want to vote, like many people think, but because the candidates are so crappy that I can't support either of them and I'm going to have to support a third party candidate. And then there's also those people that say, well, if you're not going to like vote for one of the two main candidates, um, then you're basically throwing away your vote. And that is just completely inaccurate. Um, this is why we're stuck in a two-party system right now, guys. Because of people that are saying, why are you voting for a third party? You're a privileged white person that's throwing away your vote because you're voting third party. No, again, you have the freedom to vote. You can write someone in. I'm I will guarantee you they're not going to win, but you have the freedom to write someone in. So next time someone walks up to you and or says something to you or makes a comment and says, one, like, you have the freedom to vote. You need to vote. There are people that would die for your freedom. There's people that did die for your freedom. That is correct. There are people that died for that freedom to vote. I am not arguing with that. The Revolutionary War made America who it was. And here's the problem. When we say that you have the freedom to vote and you must vote, you're taking away that person's freedom to vote. If you're telling them because they have this freedom, they have to do it, then that's no longer a freedom. That's something that they're required to do, which is completely unacceptable, guys. Completely unacceptable. If we have the freedom to vote, we also have the freedom not to vote. We have the freedom to vote or not to vote. It's up to you. If your reasoning for not voting is because you're too lazy to get to the polls and vote, or you don't want to take the time to research the candidates, that is not a reason not to vote. But if your reasoning not to vote is, I can't support either of the main two candidates, I don't know, I've done research, I don't know enough to support the one of the third party, uh, one, it, that is only a rule that require, that it's like, works with voting for president. You should vote for all of the ballot initiatives in your, uh, in your state, because that is when your vote truly, truly matters. Um, but if you legitimately can walk up to me or walk up to someone, look them in the eye and say, I am not going to vote, here are my reasons, then yes, you do not have to vote for president. Um, you will get, there will be people that will always give backlash on this because they are going to say, you must vote for someone and that is, that is it. You have to vote for someone. Um, but again, I'm going to find out one thing. Like I said, you have the freedom to vote. People died for your freedom to vote, but they also died for your freedom. It's the freedom to vote. It's not the requirement to vote. It is the freedom to vote. So remember, you have the freedom to vote, which also means you have the freedom not to vote for president if you truly can't support someone. That's all for the rant today, guys. Uh, get out to the polls, vote, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out, guys.